Hello and welcome to 1997. This is Marla Gordon Landers, free range poet coming to you from cool and overcast Derry, New Hampshire. And uh, the reason I say coming to you from 1997 should be fairly apparent. I've got the uh, kind of funky spiky pixie cut. I um, dug out a baby barrette from my daughter's uh, outgrown hair accessory stash. Um, oh, I had some, it's kind of worn off now, but I had some, uh, an awesome chocolate lip going on. Um, very late 90s and I still love it with just a little, a little uh, soupçon of red gloss in the middle to kind of highlight the lips. Um, I, uh, I tried to go for some um, fall eyeshadow and so forth from this palette of um, cheap eye makeup I have, but couldn't quite find any oranges and stuff, so it doesn't quite accomplish what I was going for. However, this nice um, duster sweater I think is very fall, very mid to late 90s, very Gwen Stefani, and uh, my friend Crystal would kill herself laughing over it because she used to make fun of my um, thrift store comfort sweaters, as she called them, that I would wear around uh, in university, um, already usually ratty and full of holes when I bought them. So here's my comfort sweater, Crystal. She was also the, uh, you know you have a good friend when they stomp on your whoopie pies when you tell them you're on a diet. So we'd come out of uh, university dining hall and she would throw my precious whoopie pies on the ground and step on them. And I was hardly above scraping them off the pavement and eating them, but I restrained myself. Um, so I'm recording this on my phone as opposed to using my usual video recorder because my daughter has to do her homework. Um, and we keep fighting over the computer. So uh, actually the lighting on this turns out to be better than on my computer, so it's working okay. Um, my watch is telling me stories here. Um, you're gonna hear some ambient noise here. Uh, I hear the neighbor dog barking uh, and the neighbors yelling for the dog named Rescue, which is kind of cute. Uh, geese migrating. Um, we've had bears in the neighborhoods. Every time there's a squirrel, in the woods, it sounds like big game, and I'm convinced a bear is going to come eat me. So if I jump up into the she shed, you'll know there's a bear coming after me. Um, what was I on to? What was I on about? I don't know. My daughter thinks my British accent is pretty terrible, but I think it's pretty darn adorable. That was terrible. Um, so the subject for today's poetry is art. As I mentioned to you, um, in the last couple of videos, I'm taking Free Range Poet in a more interactive direction. I'm getting viewers to give me three nouns. I'll build a poem around those and a couple times a week I will present one. It's yours copyright free to do what you want to with, have it inscribed on a keychain, whatever. Uh, you'll get a shout out in your own poem. So for this week's um, Gino S submitted some very evocative nouns to me. They were Oh wait, I have to consult my um, Justin Trudeau notebook. I like to draft on paper and then polish on the computer. So, right side up. Okay, so, Gino gave me the nouns. Boat, painting, abstract, auction, art, and mark. And I'm kind of hustling here because I think my phone's running out of space. So I'm hoping that this all makes it in. Um, so these, Noun said a lot to me, and um, so I rolled out uh, a little poem. I'm going to tell you, uh, I consider myself a patron of the arts. I've purchased art, I've made one painting, and so I therefore consider myself an expert on the arts. So I'm going to tell you what is art and what is not art. Canadian Valentine by Moi, art. Abstract uh, sequin circle, art. My daughter's finger painting, accidental art. Not art. Sunsets, trees, bowls of fruit. Okay, there's your primer. So, based on the nouns, boat, painting, abstract, auction, art, and mark, here's the poem. I know I asked for people for three nouns. You can give me a few more than that, as Gino did. It's called Peep Show. He pity bought the last to be picked in gym class auction painting. A crudely rendered boat, classic kindergarten 10101. Mark, it was signed, spelled the French way, like a hoity-toity slap across the viewing public's face. 
Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one here. Jeez Louise. Sorry, let me start. Let me continue. Uh, okay. Primary color on cobalt beneath a watchful, garish sun. Begging for a comic book pirate raid, a Coast Guard search, a tardy mermaid in distress, a cheesy boat name like the MV Why Not, or Can't Fathom. Mark, it was signed, spelled the French way, like a hoity toity slap across the viewing public's face. 30 Rocks Jack Donaghy says there exist three acceptable topics for art horses, men, and boats. I see it now. The Chippendales hijack Mr. Ed and make for Fiji in bow ties and gold pleather briefs and banana boat dark tanned extreme. So that's my first poem based on viewer nouns. Um, I would love it if uh, you kindly viewers out there would um, drop your nouns in the comments. I will select a bunch of them kind of randomly a couple times a week. Churn out uh, your very own fresh, original, one of a kind, weird and wild poem. And I look forward to working with you and uh, talking at ya. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, tell your friends, share, like, follow, etc. I'm Shameless, and I look forward to seeing you next time.